For you tonight, the biggest story we are on is the I team giving us a rare look inside an emergency hearing where the Texas Medical Board suspended a doctor accused of harming patients. Our I team reporter Ginger Allen is taking you behind the scenes of what happened just minutes before the board made that decision. The second week in September, Baylor Scott and White Surgery Care Center announced it was shutting down its facility in North Dallas. Police are now involved in an investigation involving at least one patient's surgery at a Baylor Scott and White facility in North Dallas. Throughout the week, media had reported that the hospital discovered someone tampered with IV bags, possibly causing harm to its patients. I call this meeting of the disciplinary panel of the Texas Medical Board to order at 2 p.m. on the 9th day of September 2022. The I-team has now learned by that Friday afternoon, September 9th, this was taking place behind closed doors. We received information from federal law enforcement that was investigating these uh, events, and it fundamentally substantiated the reports in the news media. The Texas Medical Board called this emergency disciplinary hearing via Zoom. You hear and see the staff discussing surveillance video of anesthesiologist Dr. Ronaldo Ortiz. He was actually putting an individual IV bag into the warmer as opposed to taking an IV bag out. Federal investigators say following these incidents caught on camera, one fellow doctor who took home a bag because she was dehydrated died. When the police arrived at her residence, they found her dead with the IV still in her arm. The Dallas Medical Examiner conducted an autopsy, which concluded that the cause of death was a heart attack resulting from accidental bupivacaine poisoning. Next, the panel talks about when other patients at the facility went into cardiac arrest during routine procedures. The events happened pretty much when those bags were put in and then when the bag was taken out. And my understanding is there were no events that happened when he was on vacation and a period of time when there were no bags being placed into that warmer, correct? Correct. And, and none of these events happened to his patients, meaning Dr. Ortiz, correct? That is my understanding, yes, ma'am. Well, not only that, Sharon, my understanding is that he refused to take a bag. That well, was somebody given, offered him one. And that he was operating on. At nine minutes in, the board's attorney warns the panel that the hearing is public record. She tells them to be careful discussing the confidential memorandum which they have just received from law enforcement. We don't want to include confidential information in the public record of this proceeding. Four minutes later, this happens. Reynaldo Alvaro Ortiz Jr. respondent is a continuing threat to the public welfare. The entire hearing lasts 15 minutes, 15 seconds. The board votes to temporarily suspend Dr. Ortiz's license, and you hear them agree to contact him immediately. Later that Friday night, Dr. Ortiz told CBS 11 reporter Andrea Lucia he did not know about the suspension. He later denied all the accusations to Lucia. In the coming days, investigators arrested Dr. Ortiz. Last month, we learned he is facing 10 indictments, five for tampering with IV bags and five for adulteration of drugs. Dr. Ortiz is now being held without bond, waiting for trial next month. Ginger Allen, CBS 11 News. We want to make sure you know the I-team tried to reach out to Dr. Ortiz's attorney to get the other side. He says they have no comment. The federal investigation has raised questions, though, about the safety and security of IV bags, especially if you're thinking about having surgery, if you have to have it. Coming up tomorrow night, our Ginger Allen is going to dig into that side of the story and tell you about your safety at our North Texas hospitals. As we